What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Love it or hate it, Mad Party is a top contender in the Pokemon trading card game right now, capable of trading favorably with Tag Team Pokemon GX as well as Pokemon VMAX. In today's video, I'm going to be showing off Karupan's tournament winning list from the Limitless Major number 3. But before we check out the deck, I wanted to take a moment to let you know I am selling these screen printed Tricky Jim t-shirts for a limited time. This week only, I've got the link in the description below they're twenty dollars and it really helps to support the channel so big thanks to everybody who's already placed an order for one i'm really excited about them now let's check out carapon's tournament winning deck Mad Party is a deck that has struggled to be taken seriously in the past, but thanks to Level Ball from Battle Styles, the deck gets a lot more consistent and that is no longer an issue. This deck is capable of dealing up to 300 damage with Bunnelby or Pultigeist for just one energy with the Mad Party attack. Mad Party does 20 damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile that has the Mad Party attack, and there are 16 Pokemon in the deck with Mad Party. We've got Pultigeist, Bunnelby, and then Dedenne, as well as Galarian Mr. Rhyme, and their only purpose is to get chucked into the discard pile since their attacks are much harder to use than Pultigeist and Bunnelby. Pultigeist is very good right now since it hits for Psychic Weakness, which is great against Rapid Strike or Shifu VMAX, as well as Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team GX. Now, this deck has a very explosive search engine. We've got four level ball, which can search out all of our Mad Partiers, except for Galarian Mr. Rhyme. We've got four copies of Great Ball, one Evolution Incense, and four Quick Ball, which helps us to get our Mad Partiers into our hands so that we can discard them with cards like Professor's Research or Dedenne GX. Now this deck does play three Dedenne GX and one Crobat V to help us draw through the deck, but a very powerful supporter in this deck is Giovanni's Exile. Giovanni's Exile allows us to discard up to two of our bench Pokemon that have no damage damage counters on them and all cards attached to them. So we can use Dedenne GX and Crobat V to help us set up and then discard them from play so that they are no longer liabilities on our bench. And something I really like in this list is the inclusion of Palpad. So if we have to discard that Giovanni's Exile or maybe if we have to discard some of our boss's orders early in the game, we can Palpad them back into the deck so that we can use them at a later point. I really like this card in the deck as well as one copy of of Ordinary Rod in case we have to discard too many Mad Partiers early on, we can put a couple back into the deck and we don't run any basic energy, so we're really only using this card to put a couple of our attackers back in the list. Two copies of Great Catchers, great for accessing to Dene GX or other tag team Pokemon, things like that on your opponent's side of the field. And then Escape Rope can also be useful to push a Pokemon out of the active position that you can't quite KO, like an Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia or something like that so that you can swing at a Pokemon on the bench that maybe has less hit points. Two Air Balloon to give us a little bit of mobility, as well as one copy of Primate Wisdom Oranguru, which is great for conserving resources. If you've got multiple energy in your hand, you can put one on top of your deck before using Professor's Research. Since we only run seven energy in this deck, conserving energy with Primate Wisdom is definitely a key strategy. Check out the highlights from the stream and let me know what do you think of Karopan's tournament winning Mad Party deck in the comments below. And admit and defeat chat. All right, this seems like a beautiful matchup. Of all the matchups that you could possibly get with Mad Party, this seems like the matchup that you want. Honestly. You hit Mewtwo and Mew for weakness. Seems great. And we'll pass. That's why you don't pre-bench. I know, right? Yeah. Especially since you can't support her turn one going first. Pre-benching used to be correct back in like a... Uh, back in a format where you could get end on the first turn of the game. When you could play supporters on the first turn of the game... Then benching on, you know, benching was good. Dang, bro, I hate to see it. Benching was good because you could get that Pokemon, you know, thrown out of your hand, turn one. But now it's like pretty much, or Marsh or Let Loose, you know, God forbid, yeah. Uh, now, though, you can't get supported on the turn one, on the first turn, 
going first, so you know you're not going to get Marnied. And then you could get stamped turn one to six, but, like, yeah. I mean, what are the odds that your opponent's going to waste their reset stamp to stamp you to six? Unless you took uh, a ton of... Uh, Unless you took a ton of mulligans, right? I think that this matchup kind of seems like your bread and butter, though. You should almost never lose this. I say that now. Those will definitely be my famous last words, right? Like, Mad Party should not, should not lose this matchup. Should not. Theoretically. <laughs> Theoretically should not. All right, we're going to Great Ball first. And we've got two Pulte guys. Um, I think we're going to discard. Nah, we'll get both these. Okay. We'll rope. They're probably going to give us the Dedenny. The Dedenny is just a little easier to knock out than the Bolt Hunt, right? Um, we may not get it, but that's fine. We might end up using Great Catcher or something like that this turn as well. And we want to thin for like a Dedenny. So we're going to get these guys out, start using T Break, see what we can find. Looks like we just got. Slow and steady wins the race, chat. We're chilling. Level ball again. Thin this out. T break again. All right. So we've got another Sinisty. This all seems good. I could date a change. That's pretty sick. Yeah, attach the triple. I love that. Yeah, it seems good. All right, put the Oranguru down. Quick ball away that. Going for the big. Diddy change. Cool. Let it rip. All right. And I'm not hitting a knockout, so we're at four or five. Nope. Swinging for 100, which is fine. And then, yeah, we've got some draw in our hand. We're doing okay. And the Poltegeist are all set up. We're really just kind of tempoing into the game here. It would have been better to find a great catcher and bring up the Pikaram and hit into it since we know that that's going to be the primary attacker. But since we have the Mew on our bench, the Pikaram can't really pull off the tag bolt play, which is one of their you know, only real ways to be able to pull off the win. Tempo party? Yeah. You guys want to start calling it tempo party? You guys want to, you guys want to make up, we could do this right now. We could start this right now. You guys want to think of like a absolutely horrible nickname for a deck and try to get it to stick? Taking applications in the chat right now. Which one do you guys want to make a thing? It's like you it's like mean girls. Have you guys ever seen mean girls like and how the one girl is trying to get the word fetch to stick? Do you guys want to try collectively? Do you guys want to try and get a bad nickname for a deck to stick? <laughs> the wet bear. <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be about tempo teeny. Oh my god. <laughs> Zekachu. Zekachu. <laughs> Tempo TD. The wet lizard is Urshi Pult. <laughs> Rilla Meow is Mew3 with Rilla Boom. Tempo Teeny. Yeah, you guys want to start calling it Tempo Teeny? Just to make the haters mad? Um, I think we primate wisdom the Giovanni's exile, right?
and then I could just data change into the exile and then guarantee you get to use an exile. I have four, five, six. I just need a lot more in there to knock out this Bolton, which is the sad thing. But I mean, I guess removing both my Dedenne seems like really good. So I think we should probably just guaranteed do that. Okay. Got these guys. Tea break. Great catcher too. Oh, now we're chilling. Beautiful. Look at this turn, magnificence. Great catcher up, ya boy. Mewtwo and Mew tag team GX, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, bring them out. Retreat. And we got the exile. Let's go. You're mad. All right. And then, uh, yeah, we hit him with the old party play. Yeah, look at that. We're really cooking now, chats. Man, we are saucing over here. Let's go. Mad party redemption stream. 24 hours of me redeeming myself with the tricky teapots. Yeah, okay, we could think of a horrible nickname for, for Orbital. Yeah, 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 we could definitely think of a, a really horrible nickname for Orbital VMAX. Let's think a, a Bug's Life. <laughs> You guys want to play a bug's life? <laughs> Snorbeet. Oh, Snorbeetle is it. Yeah, we have to just call it Snorbeetle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snorbeetle. It's just Snorbeetle. It's like Orbeetle, but the snor Snorbeetle. Yeah, or just Snorbeetle. <laughs> it's just Snorbeetle. All right. From now on, chat, all 566 of us have to agree. We have to take this pact, Okay. We have to take this pact that from now on, and all of you on YouTube as well, we are going to refer to Orbital VMAX as nothing but Snorbeetle from now on. And we're just going to see if we can make it a thing. We're going to see if we can get it to stick. Snorbeetle. Yes, yes. Snorbeetle, Snorbeetle. Okay. Here we go. In order to take the win, we could just gust up. How many partiers we got in the discard pile right now? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ooh, baby. We're close. Okay. Let me just get this out of the deck. All I need is the great catcher. And they're out of here. Okay, we could put pal pad. We don't really need anything with the pal pad. Player one, thank you so much for that gifted sub. We're just looking for the Great Catcher and the Energy. All right, let's check the deck one more time. All right, there's Great Catcher. It should be guaranteed. It's guaranteed, basically. So long as I find, like, the Crobat and some other stuff. So we just don't, because the Great Catcher's in the deck. So we just research. It's guaranteed. It should be. Yes, here we go. And we Great Catcher. Bring up the Pika Ram. Hey, let's go, chats. And we smack him with the mad party for 280 damage. Oh, I see we've got some real jokesters out here, okay? With the Durant Mill deck. Chat, you think I can beat the Durant Mill deck? You bet I'll ship international. Yeah. I can't beat the Durant. 
I can't beat the Durant mill deck. This is it's the opposite of what I need to do. It's the opposite. Like this is gonna be bad. Now I need the data change. Do you think they play hammers in the deck? Probably, right? So we're just going to retreat this thing. Okay. Have to do that. And I guess I will retreat, and we are going to pass. Oh yes, this is going to be disastrous. I think the hope is that I just get a couple of partiers down and just knock out Durant's real quick like. Yeah, right, and they're gonna keep bringing up my Ranguru. So I gotta find the air balloons, most definitely. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, all right, here comes the Dedenny. This is unfortunate. Great ball. I really, really do not want to day day change again, but I will. All right, I guess we just got to go fast, right? Probably just have to go fast. Oh, we found the air balloon. That's so busted. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're chilling. How much? 40 damage. Looks like I'm using day day change. Let's get it. I can exile. You're right. It's pretty good. We can exile the bench dudes. They're going to discard guys for me. And I've got the second air balloon already in my hand. So we're just going to mad party. They're going to discard party ears. Probably. Yeah. I just have to start attacking every turn. 26 cards left in deck. And just hope that... Ugh, I do hate to see the curse shovel there. That's fine. Twin energy. So they're going to be using Devour this turn. They have not played a lot of cards yet, though. We'll see what they... Yeah, they, oh, they got hammers. Yep, for sure. I do need to dig to find my own energy. Yes, that's true. Unfortunate. I will need to dig to find energy. Oh, and they got a big research. All right, this deck is taken off. Let's see what it can do. You think they play Cherim in here? Dolls? Uh-oh. Oh, they got the whole package. Yeah, they got the whole Alolan Muck. They're going to mill me. Galar Mine. This rocks. Yup. Oh, yeah, man. They got the whole deal. And they might discard my energy. That is not very poggers. Okay, we can level ball. Go get this guy. Quick ball. I have to thin. Have to. Have any chance of finding energy. Okay, we go get this guy. Have to tea break. I'm just going to deck myself out. All right. 
How much damage am I doing? I have to just knock out the active and just hope that we're doing three, six, seven, eight, nine, three, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a pretty decent chunk of damage there. But I have to knock out the active because it has the energy on it. You go for the Zashian at the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. We really wish we hadn't lost the rod there. That would have been a good card to hold on to. All right, let's see what the energy situation is. Yeah, okay, we're down three energy. There's another curse shovel. Yeah, I have no chance. Oh, yikes. Brace for impact. Alola Muck coming down. Okay, two cards. Could be worse. And Intrepid Sword. All right, well, no chance I'm hitting into this Lily's Doll. We do find the twin energy, which is good, but I've only got nine cards left in my deck. So I need to do enough. I think I, not I have to knock out the Zashian now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven will do it. Um, which means that I have to T break twice. Which is a little bit no, okay, I can I can do this, which is better than T break. Cool. Alright, so we'll do that, take a look at the deck. I've got one boss left and a bunch of energy still. So now I have Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven times two. two. Yep. It's got to be the Zashi in this turn. Absolutely. Yep. Has to be. Because if there's any hope of them not drawing, I think maybe I should have Primate Wisdom to try and see if I couldn't save another energy there. Because if I get, you know, like a bunch of energy milled, that could be bad. Ah, uh, yeah, we really didn't like that. We're hoping that they don't have another twin. Bruno! Hoping they can't find another twin. That'd be great. I can't really afford to swing into this doll. They do find the twin. Okay. So they're milling three. I need to get the energy back. They've got Grimer. I could put, they don't retreat though. Okay, do I have another boss in my deck? I've lost the rope. I could pal pad. I, should, I have one boss left in my deck. Okay. We did not find the boss. So now I will try to Primate Wisdom for the boss. Okay, I know that I'm not going to be using the research. We still don't find the boss. Um, I can't afford to tea break again. Right? And I can't afford to. I could pal pad some cards back into the deck. I have to pal pad now. I really wanted the boss though, right? But we just have to pal pad now. And I cannot afford to attack. I have to pass. Right? Because if I attack into a Durant this next turn, I mean, we'll see. They're just going to pass again. Okay. So I actually think that we have a shot to win now. Because I boss up this and Mad Party. Right? And now at max, they can mill four. Right? Like at max, they can mill four. So we should be cool. Because if they had Alola Muck, they could have maybe milled more. 
All right, so they're just passing with a doll. They're trying to... Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Insane duck, dude. Got there. That was that was very tight. It's not great. Okay. It got better. That's fine. We're playing against a Victini deck. That's cool, which actually seems like a really good matchup. So I think I actually day day change all of this. Right? We play a super rod or a Norio rod. Let's let's see if the the rod is in the deck. So I think that it's fine to just let this rip and just see what our next yeah like this this rocks i get down with this now we've got a lot of pulty geists in the discard pile already so we can put that there we can great ball we're just going to try and thin the deck even more get this guy out of the deck Great ball again. Get this guy out of the deck. We're going to be cooking. I mean, next turn, just going to daily change again. Uh, and we're chilling. I don't even know if I need another Sinistee. We'll, uh, we'll put one more down just in case this active one gets knocked out. We'll pass. And then we're, we're chilling. Yeah, we have so many Mad Partiers in the discard pile. So, so many. I have five. But still, I'm about to have six, seven. And this matchup is just so good, I think, for Mad Party that it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Now, they do have the side power on my Sinistee, un unfortunately. So they can just knock that out. And I should only have one Pultigeist in the deck. So we're going to try and see if we can't find that. Hey, thank you so much, Reggie Rocks the Mall, for that Prime sub. Appreciate you, Reggie Rocks. Thank you so much. The 27 months. Unfortunately, I do actually have to get rid of that triple there. I don't really feel comfortable using Crobat, so we're just going to let that rip. Um, I do have five energy left in the deck, which should be enough to finish off the game. So we're just going to day-day change. And we've got level ball, so I can go get myself the Poltegeist, which is good. And then another level ball, and I probably will need, because I've got two triples, so I'm going to need the Ordinary Rod. Phew. Yeah, I'm going to need the Ordinary Rod some... Uh, We've got one escape rope. What are my switch outs in the deck still? And two balloons. I was going to say it would be better to attach the twin to the bundle B and then to go for a switch or an escape rope, I think. So that way. It kind of preserves an extra energy, which I like. And then I don't want to draw in any more energy with this Crobat. So I think I'm just going to research. We have not found a switch or a rope yet, unfortunately. So we will, or the rope or the balloon yet, we'll thin the deck a little bit more and then tea break. And we do find both. All right. I've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in the discard pile. Unfortunately, that is not enough to knock out the Victini if they send me the Victini. But I don't think they'll send me the Victini, right? I think, like, I don't think that they will. Right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Guru could get a quick ball, right? Yeah, we'll we'll see what what Guru's got for us. 
Oh. <laughs> All right, let's... <laughs> let's see what they got. No, they give me the... See, I knew they would give me the Dedenny. They don't actually want to... They don't want... They don't want the chance that that gets knocked out, which is good because I don't... Well, I think it's correct for them to give me the Dedenny, right? Now, the only reason I played the rope is because I could have still taken the... Uh, I could have still taken that knockout on the Dedenny. I could have just used Great Catcher. Now, I would have preferred not to because I'm pretty low on attackers at this point. But we're in a pretty rock and roll spot right here. And if my opponent benches another Dedenny, uh, obviously we can Great Catcher it up. Now, unfortunately, you know, I mean, we are gusting around the Mew at this point. I do kind of have to take care of that. But if they use Psy Power on my Sinistee, they actually give me plus one energy. I don't know, because they give me plus one energy, right? So, like, I actually don't think it's correct to deal with the Mew. Like, who cares, right? They're going to take out my Sinistee, and then they leave the Bunnelby here. So then, no, the Mew doesn't help my prize trade at all, right? Like, not even a little bit. So, so why would we take care of the Mew? We just don't really need to. And I didn't play the Air Balloon. You saw they just played Pokemon Catcher. They were trying to, like, bring something up to stall. We didn't play Day-Day VMAX. They might not ever evolve into the VMAX. You can't guarantee that. No. It's just not worth it to knock out the Mew. It's not. You can't guarantee that they are going to... Uh, you cannot guarantee that they are going to give you... And plus, this next turn, the Mew is pointless this next turn. Yeah. The Mew is, uh, because, like, what are they going to do, right? All right, we're going to attach here. Great catcher. That's, and just research. Uh, I don't need any of these down. Okay, and then Great Ball, grab this guy. And we can Primate Wisdom, the boss's orders on top of the deck. And that's it. Mad Party, swing for 260 damage. All I need is boss's orders for next turn. And you can see there's no point in... There's no point in me ever taking out the Mew. We want to win in three turns, right? Even if they Marnie me, right. I just stacked the boss. There's a reason we stacked the boss there uh, so that we would guarantee have the boss's orders off of the Marnie. I uh, figured they probably didn't play Reset Stamp. I don't think they do. Yes, and as you can see, so it was just correct to go 2-2-2, two, 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 right? Yeah, there's no point in knocking out the Mew, especially since the Mew, we knew the Mew was going to do absolutely nothing this turn. Right. And then that's going to be well played. Got the boss on the Eldegoss and Mad Party for game. That is a just game, set, and match. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash trickygym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. We've got a super welcoming community there, and we'd love you to be a part of it. If you've got extra cards lying around the house and you're trying to get some cash for them or store credit or a new booster box, make sure to check out the Full Grip Games buy list. We are always buying bulk and singles at the shop, and selling your cards to Full Grip Games directly supports the content I create here on Tricky Gym. Y'all have a great day. Peace.